and about the conservative estimate around 500 graduate students are registered at this time and out of that around 100 or more are EAD scholars. Many departments are offering PAD right from uh, undergrad to PAD studies. And when I joined five years back, I remember that the total number of PAD with us at that time was 74. Now, within five years, alhamdulillah, we have reached to the number 180 PAD working in some sets at all. So this is a progressive movement forward which was started by Dr. Arun Rashid and his team back in 2001. And we tried our best to keep the pace of growth but without compromising on quality. So our main effort was to consolidate whatever we have, the distance travel so far. And still it's much under growing. We are looking at many things which are in the pipeline. One important thing is that, which is the major achievement, I think, is acquiring of land for the new campus of CIAD at Tawa. And I hope that in March this month, we will be able to start actual physical work over there. So, maybe in five to ten years time, a full-fledged purpose campus of CIT will be welcoming you at new sites. We are very much aggressive in pursuing international visibility of concepts. And I think among the three big campuses, the Abdapa campus is more aggressive in having these things. We are in very firm relationships with Europe, especially with Germany, Norway, and other countries. Similarly, in Asia, we are having very good collaboration with Sri Lanka, Nepal, and other countries. And so, this time we are also entered into a international collaborations which involves four or five African countries. Well. So this is all what I am telling you about all these things is to just refresh your knowledge that your alma mater is growing so fast that in the future there are many challenges we have to face and we are looking to suggest to propose or to work upon those problems or issues proactively so that when the time comes we should be ready for that. And one of the important examples is our concentrated efforts to define our strength as CIT Ekwama and that is for the last two, three years we are aggressively working on looking into opportunities of research and development in high mountain areas and society which is a completely virgin area where very, very little research has been so far carried out.
So it's vast playground for us and we are taking opportunity as that. Our relevant studies, environmental sciences, chemistry, pharmacy and all other departments, they have been being pressurized to look into the avenues which they can take part in this particular area. And inshallah very soon <clears throat> we will be able to establish a couple of center of excellence like I Mountain Research Center. Already UNESCO has approved our category 2 water center with the name of uh, Regional Water Research Center in Sri We are working for School of Pharmacy and Chemistry. We are almost 40 PhDs are there. School of Environmental Engineering, you know, Environmental Sciences and Business School. So these are our future vision and dreams. And I hope and I desire that everyone of us, us should put their share towards further growth of the institute. Whether you can technically help us in advising something or if you are working outside Pakistan in a multinational company, can you do something in adding the labs, library, or any other facility for your youngsters through your company, through international uh, organizations, we are open to that. So it's, it's a giant effort that myself, my colleagues in faculty and staff, and my alumni should work together so that we can bring more good things to our institute and to help our youngsters, junior colleagues and to guide them a brighter career for them as the market is not only in Pakistan but we are competing at international market. You might be going to our website and other news that mashallah concepts is among the top three for universities of Pakistan. And this is our strength. We are playing on this strength. And the international bodies are looking at us that a very new institute, how in 10 to 14 years time come up on international league. Ladies and gentlemen, this was because of the hard and efforts of everybody who was in the team. Right from the director down to the gardener and PMs, faculty members, staff members, and everybody related to CIT system, not only in Eptabar but everywhere in Pakistan. So this is this is our strength that we work for our institute with responsibility and dedication. And that pays well. So I do hope that with your additions, with your suggestions, we will further bring glory to this alma mater. And I pray that may Allah help all of us to work for the betterment of this country as well as our institutions. I once again offer my thanks to all of you because it's very difficult to get a time out of your busy schedules and to come over and sit down with us. We are grateful to you 
paid your visit, your visit to this campus and I wish that you should have a very productive and enjoyable time with your colleagues, with your juniors and with your teachers, obviously. I also wish you best of luck in your careers, where you are working, whatever you are working. We always wish you best of luck. And I can assure you one thing, one thing all, to all of you, that wherever and whenever you need help of your alma mater, you will find us at your service. Thank you very much once again and welcome to your own home. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing your thoughts with us and telling us your wonderful plans for concepts. Famous writer Paul Coro, in his book Elf, says, and I quote, it takes a huge effort to free yourself from memory. I unquote. When memories are of the ones close to our hearts and who left us in the prime of their lives, it is very hard to accept the harsh reality of their untimely departures. Ladies and gentlemen, now you will be shown a presentation in the memory of those who lived their short lives to the fullest and still left footprints on our hearts. I invite Mr. Mehraj Muhammad to pray for the departed souls and you will be shown a presentation. Mr. Mehraj Muhammad. Alhamdulillah, Yawbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawbil Deen, Iyya Kana Abudu wa Iyya Kana Sa'i, اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم اغفر لحينا وميتنا وشاهدنا وغائبنا وصغيرنا وكبيرنا وذكرنا وأنثانا اللهم من أحييته منا فأحيه على الإسلام ومن توفيته منا فتوفه على الإيمان يا أرحم الراحمين يا أرحم الراحمين يا أرحم الراحمين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين إتنا كيف جاء تكيه في البي سات سات لقتي Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you all to meet a person who started his journey from content. He completed his master's degree from content and then completed his PhD from North Dakota State University in Computer and Electrical Engineering. He has been awarded the North Dakota State University COE Researcher of the Year 2014. He is currently serving as an Assistant Professor in the Department of Computer Sciences in Comtech Ottawa. By now, you all must be knowing the person whom I am talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hand together for a proud alumni of Comtex, Dr. Kashir Bilal. I 
cannot express my immense pleasure to welcome you all to the alumni reunion of Concepts Avatar and Homecoming to our home institute. It is such a joy to see so many faces and old friends who came to renew their friendships and memories and to see how the Concepts has, has grown and established. The union is about to remember old days. The union is about to meet old friends and faces. The union is about to meet our teachers and mentors. Reunion is about to recall the old memories and events, to think for a while 